Sean Mendez is busier than ever. And big news, you guys, he's just announced he's headlining the Rogers Centre in Toronto this September. This will be the biggest show of his career. So how does the megastar stay grounded? In a new interview with Your Morning, Sean opens up about the upcoming tour, managing his anxiety and working with his idols. You can see my Thank you so much for sitting down with us. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited for your, your global tour and big announcement. You are going to be at the Rogers Center yes. in Toronto in September, Yeah. Wow, which is the biggest venue you've ever played. Ever. How are you feeling heading into this? Overwhelmed. I mean, I got to play there once with Taylor, and it was just the most surreal feeling. I think as a performer, it's everything you work for to be able to play a stadium one day. The more success that I get, the more the bigger the crowds get, the bigger the shows that are coming up get, the harder I feel like I'm working every single day to make sure that, that is, I deserve to be on that stage. Your album, yeah. it is your third studio album in just three years. And this one has a totally different vibe because it's got a little bit of everything. Yeah. You're hitting a lot of different genres. Yeah. So how did you bring all of that together? And I just wanted to go in and explore and, and make music that I maybe would have been scared to make a couple years ago. And then to never be able to have people guess what you're doing next is the goal. You know, I never want someone to be able to be like, oh, I know what this is going to sound like. I want them every time to be like, wow, I wasn't expecting this. You got plans, I was hoping I can get lost in your paradise. The only thing I'm thinking about is you and I. And I, I can get you off my mind. Well, something totally unexpected from you, I think, is your music video for Lost in Japan. Because yeah. it honors Lost in Translation. Yes, yes. Why did you choose that? I loved the movie and I was super nervous that we weren't going to be able to pull it off. We just had the most incredible team. All I had to do was kind of sit there and, and <laughs> lip sync the words for <laughs> two minutes and it was done. I'm really proud of that video. John Mayer wrote a beautiful tribute to you in Time Magazine's Influential People of the Year. Yeah. But, and the words he used to describe you, Sean, we hear over and over and over again that you are so grounded and just real. How do you maintain that with the success that you've had in your career? I have the most incredible parents and friends and, you know, people around me, the one thing that they don't do is treat me differently. And I'm the same Sean to my friends that I was 10 years ago, the same Sean to my parents that I was 10 years ago. So John Mayer writes these beautiful words about you and then, and then you work he with him. He does have a great way with words, doesn't he? He does. You've also worked with Ed Sheeran, mm -hmm. Justin Timberlake, you yeah. performed with him. Mm -hmm. So when you get to meet your heroes, what is that like? Ed, John, Justin Timberlake, all three of them just so extremely humble and so willing to teach, which is just like I really noticed when they truly love what they do, they just want to teach and show everybody how to you know, do it. And I think that all three of them are like that to me, which is amazing. Help me. It's like the walls are caving in. Sometimes I feel like giving up, but I just can't. It isn't in my blood. You've been very open about your struggles with anxiety. Yeah. Uh, your song, In My Blood, details this extensively. When you are at the point you are at your career, how do you balance your anxiety and, and your, your want, your wanting to please everybody? It's very hard. <laughs> it, that's just the truth. And I sit down when things are kind of getting to me and I start to just like write down what is truly meaning to me. You just gotta take deep breaths and, and, and realize that for me, it's really about the music and creating the music for the fans. <laughs> Oh, I've been shaking, I love it when you go crazy You take all my inhibitions Baby, there's nothing holding me back You're so busy and you do everything. So what do you do in your downtime? I love to just go back to Pickering and, and hang with my sister and my house in, in the suburbs and just be there. And I love when she talks about high school and all of the stuff that's going on with her because it's just like this really awesome break that I get. And so that's kind of how I chill. Well, you've got so much success, Sean, and we're so looking forward to, to the tour and to your big show in Toronto, so Thank congratulations. You. Thank you very much.